One very simple way to work with MongoDB server is using the Atlas environment. And it is a cloud-based environment that provides to us one MongoDB instance to access from our applications. So basically, when we are working with the software development, we have three options for using a MongoDB server. And it is installing MongoDB locally in our computer, or using a Docker container, and then using MongoDB image to create this container. And one third option is install anything. Just use a software as a service platform like Atlas to consume MongoDB database. So that's the goal of this video. Show to you how to use Atlas to set up your environment and how to access this environment from your application. Okay? And the idea is show to you that you can do that very quickly. In less than 10 or 15 minutes, you have your environment ready to perform your tests. So let's begin. When using cloud-based platform, Something that sometimes worries some developers is that it could be complex to create one account or could have costs involved. However, with Atlas, it's very simple to create one account and you don't need to have any costs in the initial usage. It's totally optional. You even do not need to input credit card information to adopt that. So you even do not need to create a new account. You could just use your Google or GitHub account enter directly on that, no additional data is requested to you, and then you are going to be presented to the whole environment. So let's now access that and explore the environment to see how we can create our database and collections. The first thing when we access Atlas we want to do is to create one database and create collections inside this database. However, you need to understand the structure to have that. First, we start with clusters. By default, one cluster probably is already available for you. If not, you can click here in this button and then set up one cluster to be utilized. Once you have created your cluster, it will be available here. And then inside of that, you can create the database. Inside the database, you can create collections. So just click here in Browse Collections to then be able to create a new database. Here I already have one database named MongoDB and a collection inside that named users. But I can create here another database and say here like the name my DB for demonstration. And one standard collection inside that, like my documents. That would be my collection name. And then just create that. And we are going to have here now one second um, database inside the second database, one second collection, and at this moment there is no documents available inside the collection. But here you already has understood how to create a database and how to create the collection. Now let's go to the next step. Now we have the database available, we need to connect on that from our application. But then we have two important steps. The first one is to give the permission to the IP address of our own computer to access that. The another endeavor is to create credentials of, of username and password to access this database. You can do that in this security tab here from Atlas. So in database access, you have option to create then accounts. Here, in my case, I have here a Mongo user and it has a password assigned to that. Okay, you can then edit your password and then you can generate that automatically by clicking this button and copy that to paste in your application or you can type that manually. It's one option for editing one existing user. Another option is just click at this button, add new database user, and then type here um, its password again and have more users available to your database. Okay. This is for creating user credentials. The next important step is come here to the network access and provide access to your own computer to access that. It's easier to, to add your current IP address in case you are using your local computer to access your, your database server, accessing your Atlas. You can just click here in add IP address 
and then you have here the option to to add your own IP or any other IP, IP of your organization. But sometimes we want to use that more available, accessible by more than one person, or even the point that in another cloud, cloud-based environments, and sometimes not for production environment, then one easy way to, to do an initial configuration is add this IP that make that whole available to be accessed from any computer. Just include this IP without zero values. Of course, it's just for development purpose, for production environments, it's very interesting, interesting to you add just one single or subset of IPs. So now we have this information, let's perform the connection from one application. Now, finally, one of most important steps, how to connect in Atlas using one application from any programming language. And Atlas helps us a lot in that. When you have cl clicked here in database, Atlas already provides to you this button, connect. Clicking here, it already provides to you um, the whole syntax and already one template of connection string that help you to use that in your specific programming language. So, in case we want to connect with one application, so we click here, connect with your application, you can then choose the driver which programming language are you using. Our use case from this video, you will be using Python. So, we are going to click here, choose one version like this one, and then we already have here the connection string. Basically, it's done to be utilized. It already brings here to us the whole structure from our cluster name. And then you just have to set here your password because the username array is configured with what we have created. So just copy this string and replace the password. So how we are going to explore that? If you see, we copy that. And here I have my programming language. I'm already using one cloud-based environment to develop the Python code. And here we have the whole string to connect on that. And here we have the password that was automatically generated by, um, by Atlas. So here we have inputted that connection string and here just one standard code, you can copy that. The link of this code also is available in the video description. And then run that, it, what it's going to do? It's going to go in this database. So it's going to come here in my collections. It came to some database we have here. We have two options. One option is MongoDB database. So it opens MongoDB database and then it's going to open the users collection that is here. And then inside users collection, it's going to filter documents. I have here two documents. It's going to filter the document that name is Raphael, for instance. So here we already can see one example of output, but it's running again. It's connecting on that and it's going to print actually the whole object. So here one ID attribute, here the name attribute. So if I come here and try to edit this document, for instance, and add here another attribute, like here we can say some kind of favorite favorite db and then the value could be mongo let's go to next field mongo db and then here we just update this document now we have one additional field here so if we run again the code maybe we can see that we have really connected in atlas and bring the data to our database so our application. So you can see how, how simple it was and, and, and fast to perform this creation of database on Atlas and consumption of this database from your programming language. As you have seen, you can use Atlas to perform connection from any kind of technology, any programming language, Java, Node.js, Python, and others. You can have your favorite database client in your computer and use that client to connect in Atlas 
MongoDB server. So actually it's one alternative for you have one service software as a service platform on cloud to consume your database data. And of course, if in case you go to real world situation, in case your database really has a lot of data, Atlas could also be an interesting platform for scaling your data in your application, then maybe you could perform the commercial usage of this platform. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in next time.